Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hi everyone, welcome back to a brand new video I hope that all of you have been doing well And if you guys know, from my past videos I quit my job, I quitted my job And I joined a new company So the past week was actually my first week Working for my new company, working in my new job And there's a lot of things that actually happened And I want to share some of these things with you Oh, there's actually a... There's actually a bug that just flew into my room. It's okay, I think. Um, hopefully, it will fly, fly out again later. Actually, in today's video, I just want to share something very simple and it actually surprised me as well. In my new job, I sometimes actually need to work from my computer and sometimes I need to go to different locations to look, to look at different locations. And for the past week, I've been going out to different locations and on one of the days, I remember, I was at the train station. I was at the train station in my country and I actually, you know, had to go to the toilet, right? It was maybe about close to the afternoon, maybe about 10 o'clock, 10 o'clock, and uh, I actually had to go to the toilet, right? And I know that today I will be outside for most of the day, right? So I, after I used the toilet, I um, took my wudu because I know that, again, I will be outside most of the day and I will have to, you know, perform prayers later on. So I will do my wudu now just in case I cannot or do, do not have the chance to do my wudu later, right? So I try to, you know, prepare myself, you know, and I try to plan out the day to see that, okay, so um, later I know that I'm going here, I'm going here and I might not have a chance to use the toilet. I might be busy, you know, I might not come by a toilet and I might just, you know, need to pray. And that is why I did my wudu in the public toilet. And so as I was doing my wudu, I remember that I think I was washing my, um, I was washing my, my face, I was washing my face. I remember I was washing my face and uh, there was this guy that was standing, I think, um, at over about here, maybe to, to my left and maybe slightly behind. Um, over at like um, the next few um, basins where they wash their hands and he was just staring and looking at me, right? So I can't really see super clearly because um, I was washing my face and I did not wear my spectacles because I put it inside my, my back pocket, right? Because I am washing my face, I can't wear my specs. So, um, so I found it a bit weird that this guy is looking at me. Initially, I thought that, uh, you know, sometimes there's just perverts in the toilet, right? I, I have had a few encounter that I went into a toilet and you know, there's just perverts staring at you, right? And it's just guy perverts just staring at you, like doing when you're going to the toilet. So um, I thought that there's a possibility that, you know, this might be one of it, right? Not, you know, just because it's, it's weird just to stare at someone use the toilet, right? Either that or, you know, I thought he was like looking in the mirror at himself, right? But as I was washing my face um, for, um, and um, after that, you know, washing my uh, forearms all the way until my elbow, um, he was still there. And uh, after I completed my next arm, you know, I was doing my next arm, he was still there. When I was about done with my wudu, I took out my spectacle and I, I put my glasses on and I I took a quick glance at the person, right, and and I was right. He was he was looking at me, and so I I just look um, look back at the mirror, and I was just you know continue wearing my my watch, and ready to you know head off after I'm done. So when I'm done with everything and putting on my watch, I had to turn to him, right, to walk out of the exit because his back is facing the exit, and I have to walk past him to get to the toilet exit, right, and. When I was turning towards him, you know, he showed me this action, right? And he was not saying anything, but he was just asking. You can tell from his eyes, like, like whether or not I'm like um, doing the Islam prayer, right? The Muslim prayer. And I told him, yeah, I, 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 I did my, I'm doing my wudu just now. What he said next, you know, was, uh, I was a little bit surprised, you know, what he said was he had, you know, never seen uh, someone do wudu in the public toilet. And I'm not sure if he's referring to he has not seen a Muslim person or anyone, but in particular doing wudu in the public toilet, or he has not seen a Chinese Muslim um, doing a wudu in the public toilet. 
um, because you know, like the older generations, some older generations of the the Malays, um, their English um, might not be as good, right? So I think that's why he didn't um, ask me or talk to me so much when he was asking if I was doing the Islamic prayer, the Muslim prayer. And I believe that that was, might be one of the reasons, but that was what he said. He said um, that he had not seen um, uh, a uh, Muslim um, he had not seen someone doing the wudu in the public toilet and he said that he was um, surprised to see that and it taught him uh, a lesson that's why he said he said it, it served as a reminder to him and the reason why i want to share this story is because this is also like a, you know a uh, a moment of learning for me Right. I, I learned a lot from this moment as well. And I learned that, you know, we as Muslims, right, we can, you know, remind others and inspire others to learn about Islam or to do certain things, you know, just based on our actions, right? And I'm sure you guys have heard many stories. An example would be like Daud Kim. I'm sure you guys have heard of his story. He mentioned that, you know, he first got inspired to learn about Islam because he went to Indonesia right for his you know his music career in the past and you know he was sh shocked and surprised at the kindness that um, the Indonesians have and there's also many other stories of people you know learning about Islam because of other people's action right because someone a Muslim did something so kind to them that you know they are inspired and they want to learn about their actions and this does not only apply to you know showing our actions to non-muslims right to inspire them to learn about islam and through this you know i also learned that you know simple actions like taking our wudu our ablution right in in in, in the toilet you know it can inspire you know our fellow muslim brother um, you know who can be a total stranger to you right he can just walk into the toilet and it can remind him you know that um, even though we can be busy in life, we can be outside, we still have to keep strong to our faith, right? We still have to, you know, practice our faith and practice, you know, our compulsory five times daily prayers and be prepared for it, right? Even though the prayer might be two hours, three hours later, you know, but we can just be prepared, but we can be prepared ahead of time just in case we might not have a chance to do it later. And this is, the story that I want to share with you guys that um, this past week has um, a lot of things that happened to me. You know, I also happened to visit some mosques, you know, along the way from um, the different locations that I go to. Not everyone, not everyone gets the chance, you know, to have flexibility in their job to be able to drop by a mosque after lunch, you know, drop by a mosque and go to a mosque to pray, you know, when you're free. and. Alhamdulillah, I'm very happy to have this opportunity and uh, I will not take it for granted, you know, I will, I will, with every, you know, time that I have that I can afford to go to a mosque nearby and pray, I will do it, inshallah. And that is the story that I want to share with you guys today. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this story. I'm not a very good storyteller, but I hope that you guys get my point of 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 this video and i hope that you guys get the story that i'm trying to explain hopefully in, through this kind of um you know sharing with the camera hopefully in the future i will become a better and better storyteller so i hope that you know you guys understood well um, i hope that you guys enjoyed this story i hope that all of you also learned something from this story and I look forward to sharing more things with all of you. If you guys have any video suggestions or video topics that you guys want me to talk about, about my experience in terms of becoming a Muslim or anything, feel free to leave it in the comment section down below. Let me know what you guys think about um, this incident that happened. And remember to like the video. And remember to subscribe if you are new. And remember to turn on notifications. I will see all of you in my next video, inshallah. I hope that all of you have a nice day. Jazakallah khairan. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bye-bye.